Well, after having some trouble with my built-in stove here in my camper van, I decided it might be a good idea to have a backup stove. And the stove I picked is a backpacking stove. This is a rocket stove made by MSR. And if you're a backpacker, you're probably really familiar with this stove, or at least this style of stove. And I just want to talk about why I chose this stove and also how I am not going to be using this isobutane. I'm actually going to be using propane with this rocket stove. So the obvious question here is, why would I pick a rocket stove, a backpacking stove, to use it as a backup stove for my van? Well, first of all, I've got some space issues, a little tight on storage space. So I looked at cassette stoves, I looked at other types of propane stoves, and I just like that this was a tiny little stove, a tiny but powerful little stove, that folds down into basically a tiny little space. Now that space saving is a key for me because uh, since I'm tight on space and since I don't need to use a second stove all the time, I just need a backup stove to use in case my regular stove fails or in case I need a stove uh, that I am gonna go out hiking and, and be able to use. I like the stove too. After using it a few times, I found it is incredibly powerful. Uh, in fact, this stove has more power, more BTU, than my built-in stove that I have here in the van, which is really kind of annoying in, in one sense because this is a backup. My built-in stove I use several times a day. Uh, some of the great features on this stove is that, yes, it is incredibly powerful. Uh, two, it folds down into a very small size so I can tuck it away someplace. Uh, and... Three, uh, it is really well made. In fact, it's probably much better made than my built-in stove. So those are all really great things. Uh, it's got a lot of great features. The one bad feature with the stove, though, is it can be quite tippy. Uh, if you've got a heavy pot uh, sitting on top of the stove, the stove does tend to want to tip over. Now, MSR and some other companies sell an extra little uh, stabilizer that can fold out and fits on the bottom of this fuel canister. And I decided not to buy that. One, spending enough money on buying stoves. And two, uh, it really kind of irked me that they don't include that with the stove. As far as I'm concerned, the stove is highly unsafe to use without some kind of support. Uh, that I, I think you'd be crazy to use it without some kind of support. Now, granted, this is primarily a backpackers or hiking stove. And so I would think that if you're out backpacking or hiking, you'd probably find some rocks or something and you can prop it up to keep it stable and upright. So maybe that's what MSR is thinking when they sell these and they want you to buy the little stabilizer separately. I don't know. Uh, but that kind of irks me a little bit. Uh, the other thing is uh, that I'm not using this with isobutane most of the time. Now, I did buy some isobutane because that's what the stove is designed to run on. And so I did, I did want to use it for a bit to see how I liked it using the proper fuel. But uh, I am mostly set up in my van here to run propane. Uh, my built-in stove uses propane. My heater uses propane. And I have a hot water, instant hot water heater that uses propane. So really having uh, something that runs off of propane is a little bit easier for me. Now, those three items that I just talked about, they all run off of bulk propane tanks, uh, because I find that that's just the cheapest and uh, easiest way for me to go. But I don't ever like to run out of propane, so I usually keep a green bottle of propane or two on hand. And that led me to hear about a little adapter 
Now this adapter has the same thread that the little isobutane canisters have, but on the bottom it has a thread for green propane bottles. Now this is a really cool feature because, yeah, I'm going to keep a propane bottle or two on hand anyway, so uh, if I'm going to have a backup stove that can run off of these green bottles, that's a good thing for me. Now, I do want to point out that this bottle I paid about four bucks for, uh, about 380 I guess, for exactly. Um, this little isobutane canister, this is eight ounces. I paid uh, about five or six dollars for. So, big difference in price. Now, you're probably going to say, hey, Propane is not the same as isobutane, and the stove is meant to run on isobutane. Yeah, I did some checking on that, and I found that there's not a huge difference between isobutane and propane. Uh, they are very similar. Now, the one big difference between propane and isobutane is propane doesn't burn quite as hot. So technically... Running the stove on propane is is going to cut the BTU power of it a little bit, so it's not going to be quite as strong. Um, that's not a big issue for me. And as you can see there, if you don't go, if you don't thread these on and off very quickly, you do get a little bit of uh, of gas that leaks out. You'll feel it on your fingers if you don't uh, if you if you go a little too too slowly. Uh, anyway, not a big deal. So threads on just the same as as it would thread on to the little isobutane cartridge, uh, and it works actually really well uh, because this rocket stove works so well and is as such a high BTU output. Uh, I don't notice a big difference between the proper fuel and the propane fuel. So I'm not saying that anybody else should try this. Uh, I thought I'm going to give it a try because this works better for my situation. So what do I have to lose? Now, <laughs> this is the only problem that I really have with this setup is you can imagine if this is going to be tippy, uh, this is much taller. And this is going to be really tippy if you put something heavy on it. Now, I thought this would be a real easy fix because a lot of camp stoves come with a little base that would go on the bottom of these green bottles. Well, I went around town and I couldn't find one of those little camping stove bases for sale anywhere. I could buy a new camp stove that I don't need and get the base. Um, or I could try to order one from Amazon. The funny thing about it was Amazon was sold out of those little bases at the time that I was looking for a base. I also didn't like the price of them either for a little piece of plastic, uh, especially because, while well, they do fold up a little bit. Uh, they're a little bulky. Uh, if, if you know the little base I'm talking about, they have little feet that come out, and then it's kind of a little round cylinder that uh, would fit onto the bottom of the propane cylinder, and they really work quite well. I've used them for camp stoves in the past, uh, but seeing that I couldn't actually get one and seeing that most of them were kind of expensive, I decided maybe I didn't really need to buy something. So I looked around my van and I found I had a few things on hand already that I could turn into a little stabilizer base. So I had a piece of plywood. This is it. I cut it in half, as you see there. I added a couple of hinges, and then I had some shock cord, which I just uh, drilled a couple of holes in through the plywood, tied them off, and made a little loop here. So my idea here was to just take the propane tube and slide it into the shock cord, which keeps it nice and stable and then the base will keep it fairly stable. Uh, this isn't perfect. Now, the other thing is, once I'm all done using the stove, I can simply just pull the propane bottle out and the stove out and fold that flat. 
This shoves into a little small pocket in my door and doesn't interfere uh, at all in my space problem here in the van. So I may look into buying a proper little mount for it or making a better mount. I had a few ideas about how to make one, but uh, this just happened to be stuff I had sitting around. So this is what I made. Now my only other real issue here was uh, I thought I had a little pot that I could use on top of my stove, and I did not. So I had to go running back to REI and buy a little kettle. And uh, this one I kind of liked. It was not only the cheapest option, but uh, this kettle is actually made in Japan, which I kind of thought was cool. I kind of like that. Uh, it has a little, a little spout in front and um, has a little handle in back that folds away. So yeah, this is a kind of nice little uh, pot for me to use. And um, I figured, uh, you know, if I do end up using this stove out hiking somewhere, it would be nice to have something kind of light that I could take with me. So this is kind of fit the bill. And uh, I really like this little, this little pot. Although I'm not really sure why they put the handle out the back. It seems like it would be easier to pour with if the handle is on the side. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, I like it. And just in case I wanted to take all this hiking with me, I found a little bag at Ikea. This happens to be a waterproof bag. Uh, not sure that's terribly needed, but I did like the size of this and um, that it's a nice little durable bag. I'm able to fit the pot and the lid and the the stove as it's all put down and in its little case. Uh, and then just in case, I've got a lighter as well. Uh, and then that just goes in this little roll top bag. This is difficult to do this way. Um, and there you go. So it keeps it all together so I don't have to search for any of this stuff. It's all ready for me to just grab and go. And I can just toss this in my backpack if I'm going to go hiking. Now, this may not be the perfect stove for everybody, but I think it's going to work out really well for me. It never occurred to me that I can have not only a backup stove, but I can have a stove that will go with me when I am hiking. So that's a great little plus here. Uh, and the fact that I can use fuel that I already have on hand with this little stove kind of sealed the deal. Now, the other reason I bought this stove now is because I had a dividend with REI to use up, uh, and I also had a 20% off coupon. So it actually worked out that uh, the stove, the fuel, and the little uh, propane adapter ended up being uh, $44 out of pocket. So it ended up being quite a good deal for me. Uh, that dividend I thought about using on something else, but I thought... You know, having a backup stove is probably something that is a little more necessary to have. And so I decided just to go ahead and do it. And since they had that 20% off coupon too, it really worked out to be a really good deal. Um, I'm actually amazed at how good of a deal it was. It was so. kind of good timing for me. I didn't really want to spend money. I've been spending too much money as it is on things. But anytime we can get a backup of anything that is really needed, I think is a really good idea. So uh, that's it today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.